Hello and welcome back to another end up other video. Today we are talking about Tropical Depression 18E. So let's get right on into it, starting off with the current stats for this storm. So Tropical Depression 18E has maximum sustained winds of 35 miles per hour, minimum central pressure of 1,007 millibars, and is moving west at 13 miles per hour. So let's start off here with taking a look at the warnings and cone for this storm. So 18E is currently a tropical depression, but the National Hurricane Center is predicting this to strengthen to a tropical storm during the day early on Monday. This is 7 a.m. I believe this is in Eastern time. So the storm will remain a tropical storm, probably a weak tropical storm from then on so this is a five-day cone so it ends on 7 p.m thursday at that point it would still be a tropical storm according to the national hurricane center so here is the around town winds with five-day wind speed probabilities turned on you can see that the chances of receiving tropical storm force winds are very low with the only time that it goes over 30 percent being from Sunday at 2 a.m. to 8 a.m. and then Sunday at 8 p.m. or 2 p.m. actually to Monday at 8 a.m. and even at that it doesn't get anywhere over 40 percent chance so the uncertainty levels with this storm system are pretty high so that's why I've kind of held off with this system a little bit but uh, now it does look like there's a better chance of it becoming a tropical storm but still not a very high chance. So let's go over here to the satellite imagery for the storm. And you can see that there is a semi well-defined center. Um, it's kind of still disorganized though, but you would see where the area of rotation would be right in here. But until then, we really don't have a very sustained area of rotation and the other factor of course which is wind speed you, we saw earlier that the storm is not very strong in terms of wind speeds either only at 35 miles per hour so really not a very organized storm all in all now here is the current storm information starting off with our global hurricane models so, generally, the storm is going to continue to work westward right around 10 degrees north, but there are some models here that do show a turn to the north and then back to the south, kind of a miniature wave of sorts. So, that is one possible track, but the average track is just this straight, pretty much straight west track, according to the GEFS, as well as the GEPS models. Now moving over here to the European model, it also has that same track as well, between 9 and 12 degrees north, about straight west. So here is the intensity guidance, which is all over the place. So most models have this either at a tropical depression strength or at tropical storm strength, with three taking it above tropical storm strength into category one or category two strength. But those are the outliers. So let's take a look here and go to the East Pacific for this storm system. I'm actually gonna go back one model run to see the co complete portion of the system. So here is 18E, and let's just take a look here. The storm moves to the west, really disorganized, and you can see that it eventually dies out. So the storm has a lowest pressure on this model run of, I believe, 1,004 millibars. So even the GFS is showing this to be extremely weak and to continue moving westward at varying degrees of intensity not really getting below a very, very, very weak tropical storm, even at that. Uh, mostly this would be just a tropical depression moving across the East Pacific 
according to those strengths in terms of mill bars. So, of course, we are approaching the end of hurricane season, so this is kind of expected. Uh, the conditions in the East Pacific are not as conducive for tropical development as they were a couple months ago. So, we do have a weak system on our hands, so not a huge deal, but just another possible name to tick off the list. But that is all I have for today. If you enjoyed this video, consider leaving a like, subscribing, and hitting the bell. That's all I have for today. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.